Today, Iranians are voting in a presidential election. That's a contest between four contenders. But really, the race boils down to a contest between just two of them. The first is Ibrahim Raisi. He's the hardline judiciary chief who's supported by Iran's supreme leader and is looked as almost a protege to Ali Khamenei. The second is Abdel Nasser Hamati. He is the former central bank chief under President Hassan Rouhani, Iran's relatively moderate current president. But as of right now, it appears that the race is really Raisi's to win. Polling data suggests that it will only be a 44% turnout of the 59 million eligible voters in Iran. Ibrahim Raisi is known internationally as the head of Iran's judiciary. The judiciary is internationally criticized, in part because it's one of the world's top executioners. Raisi himself also faces international criticism for his role in a series of mass executions in 1988 in Iran. Those executions saw at least 5,000 people killed at the tail end of the Iran-Iraq war. Raisi also is now sanctioned by the U.S. government, and if he wins, he would be the first Iranian president to come into office already sanctioned by the West. The Iranian election comes as Tehran is still negotiating with world powers in Vienna over its tattered nuclear deal. That deal, reached in 2015, saw Iran agree to limit its enrichment of uranium in exchange for the lifting of economic sanctions. In 2018, then-President Donald Trump unilaterally withdrew America from the accord, sparking months of tensions. There have also been mysterious sabotage attacks on an Iranian nuclear enrichment facility, as well as the killing of an Iranian military nuclear scientist. Those recent attacks have been blamed on Israel, though Israel has neither confirmed nor denied it had a hand in those attacks. It comes amid a wider shadow war between Tehran and Israel. Now, Raisi himself has said that he wants to re-enter the nuclear deal. However, given that he's already sanctioned by America, that may limit his ability to negotiate further with world powers. The U.S. has said that it wants a stronger, longer nuclear deal, as well as a means by which to negotiate with Iran over its involvement with regional militias, as well as its ballistic missile program. I'm John Gambrell for the Associated Press in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates.